Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 125 of my Ocean Block Let's Play. <laughs> and in today's episode, we are progressing towards antimatter. <laughs> Might be slower than what I like, but we are progressing. So uh, let's take a look at what I've prepared for today. Um, for starters, to get us heading in <laughs> the antimatter, I had to go back to the reactor area. Uh, as you can see, it's actually on. <laughs> um, I had to burn off some fuel. It was all uh, full over here. Uh, so I could get some more nuclear waste and turn it into plutonium. Um, I needed some plutonium because we have to make the SF. Uh, There's some type of casing. Oh, we put uh, casing. SPS, yes, not SFS. Uh, this doodad. SPS casing is the one that we need, and that's the pricey one. Um, SPS. Uh, oh, I guess you would just use reactor glass for that. which we can make. Glass. Yeah. Um, we need like 60 of these. And each one takes a plutonium. Uh, now I made more than what I needed for the plutonium. Um, I just figured why not? Uh, let's get more than what we need in case we need more than what we got. <laughs> uh, it works for me, so. Oh, and we didn't turn in the quest reward. I mean, I don't know what they could give us that would honestly help us right now. But. I hope it's good. Hepatizon seeds. Um, I think I already have that, but okay. Put it in there anyway. It was a tier five seed, so um. So let's look at these casings. Look at that. We already have the HDPE sheets. Those are like butter. <laughs> we got that down. Um, so let's just check. Uh, our system down there is pretty fast and it's keeping 2,000 I guess in stock. And we've got our four singularities ready to go. So we're good on HDP. Um, so we need 60 of those. Ouch. Can we do it? Um, I just don't want to make more than one we got. Uh, what if I just take... Uh, take you out and I'll leave 60 plutonium in there. Um, what if I put you in here? Uh, okay, let's do this. Ooh. Oh, it made, oh, that's right, because it had one. So we got one extra. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Um, that's all I know that I need. I thought that would be a lot more difficult. Uh, but we have been stockpiling on the um, polonium. Polonium. 
we still have 648 left. Uh, I think that's gobs. Um, now that we have the plutonium that we needed, we can all of the extra um, all the extra nuclear waste that we get, we need to turn into um, polonium, the, the liquid or the gas, um, to put into our super critical phase shifter <laughs> uh, that we are trying to build. Because uh, it will take the polonium a thousand buckets and turn it into one millibucket. <sighs> so you need like a thousand buckets of polonium to make one antimatter pellet. Oh god! What have we done? Um, yeah, so <laughs> good times. Um, I kind of built this area out a little bit to get ready for it because I think I want it over here. Um, I don't We could, I, I need to, I don't know the exact number of reactor glass um, that I'm going to need, uh, but it's a pretty big one, but it's, it's easy to make, so <laughs> I'm not going to go look on the website to find out the exact number, because we got, uh, we got plenty of stuff. Um, let me see. I'm not exactly certain of how this goes. I think it's like this. I think it's like that. And then um, that's on like each face. Uh, but you want to use the SPS casing as little as possible and it has to be on the frame, uh, on the edge. So um, let's do you. So each facing is the same, so we can uh, do this. Oh, man, that just doesn't seem like. Uh oh, I did, I did the wrong thing. Give me that. This doesn't seem like enough. glass is so cheap um, and we've been able to make that for a long time uh, we can we can do this 
Okay, okay. Um, I'm not panicking now because I see that we have enough stuff. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't have enough time to make more plutonium. Awesome. Oh, and we got to do the top, which would just be the corners, I think. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Um, oh, and we need the supercharged uh, coil. I don't remember what it's called. It's a. Uh, it's definitely a coil, though. Put you there. And you there. Yep. So all we need are those little corners right there, but. this off. Boop. And boop. And we have our one extra that I accidentally made. <laughs> okay. transfer of energy and substance in, in the supercritical phase shifter. Okay, yeah. We need at least two of those, I think. Um, but it does items and energy, so we, we might need one in for power um, to run the coil, which we need to look at the coil. Coil. Um, let's get this guy. Coil. Oh yeah. Not that one. This one. Supercharged coil. Um, yeah, let's get this guy over there. We need supercharged coil. We gotta feed it energy. Um, To get the polonium in, and then we have to take the antimatter pellets out. So we need three, I think. Um, okay, so let's look at the port. Oh, oh. We need four casings per. So I am going to need some more casings. I didn't waste the one. <laughs> okay, so um, casing. We didn't waste our one. So we're going to need 12, 11 more SPS casings. See, I'm glad. Glad I made those extra. Uh -oh. So I need twelve total. Okay. Um, SPS port. And what? Three of these. 
Now, this is, <laughs> I looked at the website. I know we need the ports. I don't know how many we need because I don't have the website open. I don't have my second monitor anymore. So I can't, uh, I can't see the website right now. So I'd have to pause the video, but I think three is sufficient. If it doesn't work, then I'll look, <laughs> I'll look for sure. But I think we need three. Um, but I do know we need supercharged coil. Um, for sure, I'm going to need at least one of those guys. Um, cool. So we got uh, most of this stuff. Boop. Send a boop. Oh, okay, so um, you can put these ports, I think, anywhere, uh, but I think I want the uh, supercharged coil up here on the top. for uh, the polonium and then I guess we can put the output over here a boot configurator to change these ports because they all look the same. Um, how does it know where stuff needs to go? Okay. Uh, this is output. Oh, this is good. Okay, that worked. Output. We want this to be input. Okay, green is input. Red is output. Okay. I think that's it then. Um, sweet. Okay, we can put the reactor glass up. So we need power to this, which we can do pretty, uh, pretty easily. Um, just go a boop and a boop. Yes. Um, I think we want to disable the limit on this. Now, do you have power? You, this port has power. Okay. Oh, we're making progress. <laughs> um, now we have to get our polonium. Um, and I think it's safe to say that we probably don't need to make any more. Oh, no, wait. We might need some of those uh, polonium for crafting recipes. Um, so Oh, that's right. I was going to do an entangled block. Let's get one of those. Get 
of those doodads. Where's the, yeah. Um, I guess here would be good. Um, wait a minute, I need to find out which facing I can take out of. I'm not sure if polonium is okay. Polonium's probably not a liquid because you can't output liquid, so it's probably gas. And we're outputting to the right and the bottom. The only thing is, I don't know which is the right side or the on this because all the faces look the same. <laughs> so maybe I should try to pull it from the bottom. Um, let's take some pressurized tube and just put it and boop, boop, and boop. Let's take it one more way so it doesn't connect. And we'll go a boop, then we'll go and select our block over here. A boop, and throw it there. Awesome. <laughs> okay, um. It did not work, so we may need to tell it to pull things out. <laughs> pull. Because, is that right? Is that what I'm seeing? Uh, uh, it doesn't... I might not be able to pull it out of this machine. Because the polonium doesn't actually come out of here, so it might be a fluid. Switch to this guy. Uh, so let's let's do that real quick. Um, I wish I could click on the interface from that. That would be cool. Okay. Um, this, I think, only comes out the front. Uh, but if my suspicions are correct, it's not a gas, it's a fluid. So we need different pipes. The ultimate mechanical pipe is what we need. And hopefully, oh, doesn't even connect, so maybe it is. Hmm. Okay. Uh, get my, my pressurized tube back then. Oh, um. So what if I break you and then put you right there? No. <laughs> they don't 
only wants to go that way. Um, okay, what if I place it up against you? Yeah, it still only wants to connect there. Well, at least we got a connection. Okay. Is that coming out? Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I didn't expect it to come on! But that's cool, that's cool, it's working, it's working! Oh, we have antimatter! Oh, I forgot, we have to take the liquid antimatter. I guess it's out of juice now. Yes. <laughs> that did not take long. Um, we got 20 millibuckets. So that was like, um, 20 buckets of polonium. We have antimatter. Uh, now we need, I think, a uh, pressurized take the antimatter and turn it into a pellet um, which is done in a chemical crystallizer um, I actually think I might have one of those oh I do score got stuff in it. I think there's supposed to be a way to a gauge dropper, a way to clear that. So let's make this um, Slide this guy with power and a hook up to the network to deposit the antimatter pellets. Oh, okay. Now, how can I? Can I like? So I can shift click that to empty it. That's a nice little doodad. All right, we got our antimatter system almost completely done. That is amazing. Um, okay, uh, we need a power point for this guy, which I have one. Um, let's put him on top. A bit. Um, I don't know. It does take upgrade speed, energy, lovely. This would be one that I would definitely want the gas upgrade on. Uh, but I guess it is. It is a gas. But <laughs> I guess it's, it, it 
the liquid um, goes in a gas, comes out in a matter liquid. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the upgrades. Just because. Okay. Um, I did upgrade the plutonium machines as well. Well, I guess I need to put my all better now. Uh, we have all of that hooked up. Now we need to get our antimatter pellets when they're ready out. Um, I think we could just use an interface. Actually I could just use an importer. Um, that would probably be better because this will go and grab it. it. Looks for things to pull into the system where the interface is a little more complicated and it, it doesn't like to pull things as much. Okay. Um. <laughs> all the way over there um, but I will need some more because I only have nine more cable oh look there's 30 more in there so that's great uh, this is the part that's just over thing is so fast. Um, I think I need to turn it down a little bit. Oh, dude! <laughs> it's still... I just decreased the speed and it's still... still too fast. It's hard to... Let's come over this way here. different facings for what direction you're facing when you place the block. A swap. Okay. Um, so as we get it, it should come in. Let's just make sure that items take any enema pellets out. Whew. So now we need more radioactive. We may need to increase our waste 
disposal section over here a little bit. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that off camera, increase that some more in between episodes, because we're going to need more, uh, more nuclear waste uh, to produce more polonium. Um, how are we doing over here? It's still running, but this one is full, so I'm going to go ahead and get that going. A poop. There we go, creating nuclear waste. <laughs> Don't you feel responsible? And poop. Because this only works during the day. Duh. I forgot about that. I really need to like, put a bed at some of these places. <laughs> Super critical phase shifter going. Oh, look at it, it's going. Oh, that's great. Uh, I wonder how much power it's drawing. 25 million is pulling it all. This one takes three, and that's the teleportation unit. I think that's uh, these. I, I would definitely like the gravitational modulation modulating unit. Um, for sure. So that takes three. Three pellets. Oh my god, that's a lot. And. Uh, This is used in the creative storage upgrade where you gotta have four pellets. So we need ten. <laughs> That's a lot of polonium and a lot a lot of stuff. How to make this go any faster. I can't hook it directly up because it doesn't produce fast enough to keep this thing on, so it's very inefficient. Um, it's like constantly turning on and turning off, and it's not getting the amount of energy. And I don't know if that. Um, makes a difference when it's producing waste. Um, I don't know. But the only way I could see to... Oh look. And I got all of these upgraded. I got them all upgraded. Oh, 
like it's the whole system is waiting. Upgrade you, yeah. Everything is upgraded. All right. Ha oh. ha. Super cool looking. How are you doing? 38 millibuckets. <laughs> Won't be long. <laughs> yes, it will, but just need some. Anyway, uh, I guess that's gonna wrap it up. I don't think I went over everything that I wanted to, but I wasn't expecting to get this uh, done as quickly. I expected it to, to take more time to set up. Um, I'm trying to think what was it that I was wanting to talk about. Um, oh, I've had some issues. Let's go look. I wanted to, now that we got all of that energy, which um, we're not going to be having anymore because that super critical phase shifter is sucking it all up. I wanted to add some more power pods, um, but I was running into the issue of. Oh, look! It's got stuff. Um, so. I tried to automate the mana diamonds. Um, it's not very good though, because I don't have a uh, very good mana generation yet. Um, let's go out here and see. Did you throw the mana diamonds already? <laughs> it will work fine as long as there's mana in, enough in there for uh, the combines. But once it doesn't have the mana, the, the mana, the diamonds might just sit there and rot. <laughs> uh, because it's going to throw them all at once, so, um, yeah, it's not good. It's not ideal, I guess, it, but it works. Um, let's go check and make sure, uh, this guy is doing his stuff. Oh, it looks so weird without the orange ones on top. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like it, it's doing anything, so let's check again, maybe it finished. No. Uh, so, what's up? Do I need to reset? No? Uh, must be stuck on something. Just unlocked it. Um, I just unlocked it. Epi? Okay, we may need to may need to cancel that. on the mark too. I didn't see it crafting anything. Okay.
What is going on? It pulled the stuff out. I know it did. Why is it not sending it over? It might just be really busy. I mean, it's got all these other things it's doing as well. Oh, it's probably making, it's making these things. out of power. No. What's oh, out of what are you supposed to be getting? Enriched diamonds. Oh, we're out of diamonds. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is why I made wanted more power pots so I could um, not run out of diamonds. But yeah, we got a lot of things using diamonds. Oh, you're not set to I did this earlier and how much are you pulling? I stopped pulling anything. It's got like no power. Okay, so my Ticking did nothing because, uh, uh, do I have power out there in the reactor? How are we doing? Oh, we got gobs. We got gobs of power still. How you doing? 62 millibuckets will be there in no time. It's not making it right now because it's night time. <sighs> they need like one of those machines like um, uh, they had in, oh, what was that mod called? Forestry? that would stop the rain. Uh, they need one like that that you can build that will automatically turn it to day. <laughs> uh, so I don't have to sleep. And there it goes. It's daytime and it's working. Nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm running short on things and, and I need uh, more power pots to grow them but I, I, I need more things to make the power pots uh, I want three more and they'll probably be inferior unless I can find something else that I need uh, redstone and diamonds not pretty good um, <laughs> uh, how are our redstone doing Oh, we got 17k. Considering that it's making so much stuff right now, with that we got 26 diamonds. Um, but there's a lot of stuff with the singularities that use diamonds. Like our little diamond essence is going crazy. Um, I I noticed something that I changed, and I don't like it I think I'm gonna change it back um, I added this crafter uh, with all the different patterns uh, to craft each one individually but I don't 
think I like it like that. I think I like it before when I had it over here and I was just feeding uh, Inferium into the system automatically and it would automatically turn it to Supremium. Um, but I think I like that and I, I think I need to keep it that way and just have it um, like go all the way to Insanium and then break down the Insanium into Supremium outside of the system if it needs it. Because uh, I don't think I need any more of the Imperium, Tertium, or Prudentium recipes uh, now that I'm done with all the seeds. Um, so I think I'm going to put it back to this system over that. How are we doing on that anyway? Oh. We're like completely out and we don't have a singularity to show for it. But I do know, check this out. Um, we do have a singularity out here. That's the uh, Supremium one. So we, we can make another singularity, but I'm not going to because it's going to use everything up and it's going to make more. <laughs> and and I, need to, I need to figure out what I'm using up so I can get more of that incoming. And I, I got diamonds so far. Um, I just don't know what else. Um, I did reset my capacitato recipe i remember capacitato is it going it might not be going i don't think it is um which is weird it usually usually uh fixes it when i reset the recipe let's go is it capacitato over here the capacitato? No, because you're off. Are you the capacitato? No. You're pig iron. I don't think this one is. Magical egg. Are you? Capacitato! How are you doing? Oh, it's only 156. Um, usually when I log on, I have to reset the recipe, which is over here, and I just come in, and I go, boop, and I put it back in, and it works. I don't know why, it's just some, some kind of conflict. too when I took out the uh, potato from the barge area so yeah I've got a lot more tinkering around to do but we did get antimatter started so that's going in the right direction <laughs> anyway uh, I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.